submitting your manuscript with IEEE Scholar 1. Begin by selecting Author in the menu at the top of the page. You'll be taken to the Author Dashboard, where you can create, track, and manage your submission. Click on Start New Submission, then click on the Begin Submission button. The submission system will walk you through the six steps to submit your manuscript. Before starting your submission, please visit the journal homepage to read the full checklist of journal rules to help you meet all the requirements to submit a successful manuscript. The first step is Type, Title, and Abstract. Click Read More to open special instructions from the journal's editors. All required items will have a red asterisk next to them. Clicking the question mark will show you specific instructions and help text. When typing or pasting the title and abstract, note the character limits for each field on the right in each text box. After each step, click Save and Continue. Step 2, File Upload, allows you to upload all your manuscript files. Click Read More to open special instructions from the journal's editors. In the main section, upload your manuscript document and any additional files. Use the Select File button to locate the files on your system and select a file designation for the additional files. Then click the Upload Selected Files button. The files will now display in the Files section above. Note the file requirements for the manuscript. Once you've uploaded all your files, select Save and Continue. You are now on Step 3, Attributes. In this step, you will enter keywords related to your submitted paper. The maximum number of keywords is displayed on the right side. Step 4, Authors and Institutions. Your name will populate as per your login information. You may add additional authors by entering the author's email address at the bottom of the screen. If you can't find your co-author by email address, you'll be given an option to create a new co-author. Step 5. Details and Comments If you have received funding for your research, indicate that here. Select Add Funder and enter the name of the funding agency. The system searches the FundRef database for matches. Select a funder from the list. You can also enter a grant or award number. You may also add additional funders here. When finished, select Add Funder. The funder will now display on your main submission page. The journal may have custom questions for you to complete. For example, if you will be uploading a data set to IEEE DataPort, this is the step to add that information. The final questions regarding plagiarism and the human and animal research disclosure are required. When finished, click Save and Continue. Step 6. Review and Submit. On this screen, you will review all the information you have submitted. You will see a message if any required information is missing. You must view the proof before you can submit your manuscript. This is your last opportunity to make sure that your manuscript is correct. After reviewing the proof, the Submit button will be available. Click Submit. Confirm the submission by clicking Yes. A submission confirmation screen will display with your unique manuscript ID. Click the Author Dashboard button. The dashboard allows you to track your submission. You can also find recent emails regarding the submission, such as the receipt acknowledgement. This email may have additional information about the process, timeline, publishing models, and charges. If you are submitting to a hybrid journal, there will be instructions on how to choose open access in your submission receipt email. The test manuscript shown in this video was accepted. Here you see the status of the submission after clicking Awaiting Final Files. Some publications have unique statuses such as Immediate Accept, which means that the article is accepted by the EIC but will still undergo the peer review process. Once you have reviewed the status of your manuscript, and if it has been accepted, click Submit Final Files. A new set of instructions is displayed, including language about open access options for your submission. Step 1 has a section about open access. If you choose to publish open access, you can find information about the Article Processing Charge, or APC, in this section and a link to more details about article charges.
For answers to questions regarding IEEE's open access policy, please view our Frequently Asked Questions page linked here or found on the IEEE Open website. Here you'll find information about different IEEE open access options, fees for publishing in open access, and copyright licenses. If your institution has an open access agreement with IEEE, your APC charges may be covered by your institution. Click on the Institutional Partners List link and browse by country or search for your organization by name or location. This site will give you all the current details about your organization's open access agreement with IEEE. For more information about your agreement, contact your institution's library. If you'd like to publish open access, click on Yes and then Save and Continue. If you wish to publish traditional or not open access, you can select No. Complete step two to upload your final manuscript, which should include all final edits and changes that may have been completed following peer review. Find your final submission document on your system and select Final Files of Accepted Paper. Click on Upload Selected Files, then click Save and Continue. You can click through steps three, four, and five. The final step allows you to review all the details of your submission, including whether you want to publish your article open access. Click on Submit one last time to end the process. If you have selected to publish your article as open access, the manuscript details are sent to CCC's Rights Link for Scholarly Communications, or RLSC, for the payment and or APC funding approval when applicable. Please watch video two for additional information on the payment of APCs using CCC RLSC.